You've made your pass line bet. The shooter rolls and they establish a point. It's your least favorite point. You hate this point. Nobody ever hits that point. There's no way for you to win now, right? You're wrong. Regardless of the point, or even if you didn't even play the pass line, you can still bet on the dice. It's called the combat, and it's what we're talking about right now on Yo Eleven Bread. In this video, we're referring often to something called the pass line bet. Now if you're not familiar with the pass line bet, click on the icon on the top of your screen right now to learn what that's all about. Then come right back here to see how what you learned there applies to the combat. Okay, so before we even get started, I want to point out I don't hate 4 as a point. I have nothing against the number 4. I don't have a favorite point. I used 4 as an example. So before I get some hate mail in the comments, 4 was just an example. I love 4. 4 makes you money. The main difference between a pass line bet and a come bet is the pass line bet is made when the puck is off and it's a come out roll. A come bet is made after a point's been established and the puck is already on. To make a come bet, you simply place your bet in the area marked come in front of you on the layout. Now just like a pass line bet, the first roll of your come bet wins with a 7 or 11, loses with a 2, 3 or 12, and it becomes your own point with any box number. When a box number is rolled, the dealer will move your come bet inside the box of that corresponding number that was just rolled, and now your little side game begins. Just like a pass line bet, you need that number to be rolled prior to a 7 to win. If the 7 rolls first, your come bet loses. Just like the pass line, you can bet odds on your come bet after it's moved to a box number. The same rules apply for betting odds on a come bet as they do on the pass line. The only difference is instead of placing your own odds behind your come bet, you would lay your bet down in the area marked come and tell the dealer, odds for my come bet. The dealer would then move your odds bet on your come bet with the checks offset to show that it's for odds. Just as with the pass line, the come bet is a contract bet. Therefore, it's locked in once it's in a box number. But just like an odds bet for the pass line, the odds bet for the come bet can be altered, taken down, or whatever you'd like just by telling the dealer that you'd like to change or take down your odds. During a game, you would only bet on the pass line once because it relies on one number, the point. But you could make a come bet on every single roll if you wanted to. Oftentimes strategies will rely on two or three consecutive come bets, but we'll get into that in later strategy videos. If a player hits their point, then the puck moves to off. But the combats are still considered to be working, which means hitting that number on a come out roll would win, and a seven, normally a pass line winner, would lose on your combat roll. Most casinos default to turning your odds off for your combat when the puck is off, but you should ask your dealer what your table does. If your odds bets are off and the 7 is rolled, you would lose your initial come bet, but your odds would be returned to you. If you want your odds working on the come out roll, tell the dealer and they'll put an on button on your bet. Your odds bets are now in play for the come out roll, eligible for winning, and susceptible to losing. Just like the pass line, your initial come bet pays even money, but your odds bets on your come bet will pay true odds. That covers it for the combats. It's a great way to get additional numbers in action while having the opportunity to bet with little to no house edge. But the combat relies entirely on the dice, and you want to control where your money is going, right? In the next video, I explain how to do just that using the place bets. So make sure you're subscribed to see that video and more. 
Remember to tip your dealers and always play within your means. Thanks for watching U11 Bread, and good luck everybody.